everyone ready? Broomsticks in horizontal hover. Not at a rakish angle, Ruby Cherry Tree. It isn't a hat. Sorry, Miss Harbroom. That's better. Now, perch your cats on the brush end and get them to assume the sitting position. This should show us how much practice you've been putting in. What have you been doing to my sister? What? She's been following you around like a puppy dog. All of a sudden she thinks you're some kind of superstar. It's just because I got her out of an emergency. Rubbish. You've been trying to win her round. I have not. Mildred, I asked you to put the cat on the broomstick. Sorry, Miss Harbroom. First, you terrify her with a tall story about Miss Harbroom turning first years into frogs, and then you start leading her astray. It's not a tall story, and I haven't led Sybil anywhere. In fact, I think she's a bit of a weed. Weed? Nobody calls a member of my family a weed. Just stop it, Ethel. I'm not going to get into a fight with you over some silly little first year, whether she's your sister or not. I won't forget this. Nobody insults my family and gets away with it. Hey, you two. Just lay off. All hallowed are weeds. Weeds, weeds. <laughs> Mildred Hubble, how many terms have you been training that animal? Sorry, Miss Herbroom. None of the others seem to be finding it so difficult to sit on their brooms. It's not as though they're being asked to do an aerobatic display, Mildred. No, Miss Herbroom. That creature is not fit to be seen until it is better behaved. I suggest you take it to your room and work with it alone for the rest of the session. Yes, Miss Herbroom. Honestly, it's a disgrace to the Academy. Now get your cats to walk the length of the broomstick. I won't forget about this. Oh, Tabby. You do make life hard for me. I never thought she'd return for her second year a reformed character, but if anything, she seems to be even worse. Did win that bravery. Oh, Miss Cackle. She only did what any girl would have done in that position. Besides, it's her general behavior I'm talking about. So what do we do? We've got to change her before it really is too late. Perhaps a short, sharp shock is required. What exactly did you have in mind, Constance? So far. I'm not sure about the short arms and knees bent in the wrong direction there. Oh no! Of all the people! Better get out of here. Well, well, well. 
And how did you escape, eh? Put me down! Put me down! School corridors are not the place for frogs. It's her. She did it. She's turned me into this. Just like she did to that first year who's now that frog in the school pond. The story's true then. And now she's done it to me. All because Tabby misbehaved in class. I think we'll just put you in here. No! No! Ugh. So this is what HB carries around with her. Ugh. What a horrible place. <laughs> Where's Mildred? I don't know. Have you seen her, Ruby? Not since she was sent out to cat training class. Maud will know. Seen Millie? No, I haven't. I looked in her room, but there's no sign of her. So where's she gone? You don't think she's scarpered, do you? Scarpered? She's done it before. Well, HB was pretty nasty to her, and Millie's been trying so hard to please her. But Tabby was in her room. Millie wouldn't run away without him. Where's Hubble Bubble gone? I hope she's not in some sort of cell. Places, girls! You can stay in here, so we can keep an eye on you. She's talking to me. She must know who I am. Oh. All right, Chadu. <laughs> Let's get on with the lesson, shall we? Please, Miss Hartbrim. What is it, Maud? Maud is not here. Oh, I see. Still training that cat, I suppose. Well, I'm sure she'll reappear at some point, and I don't propose to waste any time on her now. I don't believe it. So then, our topic today, advanced invisibility. Potions for use in very tight corners. You see the ingredients laid out before you, which Ethel and Drusilla have kindly prepared. Mix them together, please, in amounts that appear on these worksheets. What do I do now? Suffer in silence? She sure I'll reappear. What did she mean by that? That first year by the pond, HB didn't turn her back, did she? More than Enid. I wonder if I can get their attention. Maud! Oh no, this stupid voice. Enid! It's me, Mildred, here! In the jar! Help! No, no, no! from the jar and place it into one of the boxes in the cupboard. Yes, miss. We do not want to listen to that din for the rest of the lesson. It's me! Come on, Maud. It's Mildred, your best friend. It's all right now. It's Mildred! It's me! It's me! Quickly, girl! Sorry, miss. No, no! Oh! Don't just stand there, girl! Catch it! Ethel Hallow, I'm afraid your potion is far too effective. That's 
said. Now remember, the beauty of pots is variety, busy lizzies for colour, then lovely trails of ivy around the back. You're doing some gardening, Miss Bowers. Yes, well, we thought we'd cheer it up, didn't we? Help the girls to develop green fingers. <laughs> Excellent. You're welcome to help us if you like, Miss Drill. There's plenty to do. Oh, I'm afraid not. I want to clear out the gym stall. Mm -hmm. Miss Clacker looked in. She said it was an appalling mess. Oh, dear. Mm, yes. But that's not the worst part. Guess who I'm going to be given as help? Mildred Hubble. Oh. Mm. Part of Miss Harbrum's latest scheme to instill discipline into her. Ah. A crash course of special duties. Demotion to the first year if she does anything wrong. Oh. There's nothing much I can do while it's invisible. It was bad luck that it went straight for that potion, wasn't it? Yes. Remarkably intelligent. For a frog. Ethel, shut the door behind you, will you? This is impossible. Being a frog's bad enough, but an invisible frog. Still, if I can get through one door, I can get through another. <laughs> oh, 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 ah. Now let's find some help. So where is she? Nobody seems to know. She didn't attend my potions class. Silly girl. She doesn't do herself any favours. It looks like demotion to the first year immediately. I mustn't rush into these things. He said we'd do it and I think HB again? With Miss Cackle? The last person I want to see. She can't see me, though. I'll just hop by them. What's that? What? A bodiless frog's head. And it moved. How did it... Pardon? It's escaped from the potions lab. We'd better catch it. We don't want it jumping around the school. Oh, no. That way. It's gonna you can't treat a frog like this. Okay, we'll escape now. What's going on? There it is. Leave me alone. You little devil. <laughs> Where it went. Where do you start, Miss Cackle? Well, at least it's outside the building. It won't be a nuisance to us out here. Just as long as it doesn't try coming back inside. That's all. Oh, great. I can't go back in there. Where do I get help from now? <laughs> Better find somewhere quiet to think about this. Oh my goodness! Famous frog! The other girl transformed by HB. Well, at least I found a kindred spirit. Sorry. What did you say? Pardon? You croak in English. That's right. How come? I'm not really a frog. I've been changed into one. Why? What were you before then? A witch. How amazing. I was a wizard. But I thought... Thought what? Would you care for a fly? A fly? Hmm. They're tasty once you get used to them. No, thanks. So how did you get to be a frog? It was so long ago, I've almost forgotten. It was here, in the castle. In those days, it wasn't a school. It was used for gatherings, meetings of wizards. We used to have a lovely do in the summer. Endless teas and lectures and displays, all afternoon. Anyway... I had an enemy, 
a fellow wizard who had a quick temper. He was always picking arguments and was very jealous of me for some reason. When he thought I'd insulted him, wrongly of course, he didn't want to hear my side of the story. He turned me into a frog and I was left behind. I've been here ever since. You couldn't change back? I've tried, but I can't. It would take another wizard to do it. Poor thing. I can't leave him here like this. I'll go back to the castle after dark and see what I can do. I must be able to find a wizard somehow. I won't forget you. You're very kind. What's your name? Mildred Tubble. What's yours? Algernon. Uh, something Webb. I can't remember. Bowen Webb? Stone Webb? I haven't used it for such a very long time. I must say I'd give anything to have proper tea again, though. Hot toast with great slabs of butter. Crumpets with honey oozing out of the little holes. Steaming tea in a china teacup. One gets so fed up with water boatmen and flies. <laughs> Don't cry. You will have comforts for tea again. <laughs> Don't you worry, Mr. Alderman. It'll be all right. I promise. It's all right, Abby. It's only us. Not here. Nothing's moved. She's not been back. What on earth's happened to her? If she's not back by the morning, there'll be a full-scale search on. And if she's done something stupid, H.P. will do her nut. What's this? What? Weeds. On her pillow. Weeds? Yes. That's a bit odd. I wonder. What? Weeds. That's what Millie called Ethel's sister in cat training. She and Ethel were arguing, and she said all hallows are weeds. Do you think Ethel could have put them there as some sort of challenge? I wouldn't put it past her. She more or less promised to pay Millie back. You don't think Ethel could have done something really awful to Mildred? <gasps> What's that? HB. <gasps> Doesn't sound like HB. Yes, yes, of course I am. Did Ethel do this to you? Ethel? Ethel? Come on, Enid. Recognise this? Remind you of anyone does it? I don't know what you're talking about. All right then, Ethel. Sorry to have bothered you. Come on, then, Enid. Let's go to Miss Hardroom. No, no, wait, wait. What's all this about? You should know. All right, yes. Yes, it's Mildred. I didn't mean for her to run off and get lost. I just wanted to give her a fright. That's all. Thank goodness you found her. Bring her over here and let me take off the spell. Hold on a moment. I think we should get Miss Hardbroom. How are we going to explain where Mildred's been? Let's tell her in the morning. She'll be in a dreadful mood if we wake her tonight. Anyway, I'm sure Mildred can't wait to be changed back. Put her on the floor. Reversus, revolvus, returnus, resolvus. Ilio, alio, redux, reducio. Thanks for nothing, Ethel Hallow. 
Gosh, it feels strange to be this big again. And all this time I've been blaming HB. Having a little party, are we, girls? Mildred. I see you've decided to join us at last. We hope you've had a pleasant time. Would it be too much, perhaps, to inquire exactly where you've been? I was in my bed asleep, Miss Harbroom, when they just barged in. You rotten! That's not true, Miss Harbroom. Ethel turned me into that frog, and that's where I've been all today. I did not. I wouldn't do such a thing, unlike some people. When I went up to my room after cat training, she must have sneaked up and cast a spell on me. Mildred, you will write out 500 times in perfect handwriting. I must try to curb my imagination and tell the truth at all times. But please, Miss Harbroom, I was that frog. I can prove it. How? You put me in your bag. I can tell you what you've got in it. A handkerchief, a bottle of wide awake potion, and a notebook held together with an elastic band. Well. I... I... Well, she insulted my family, Miss Harbroom, and I didn't mean for... Yes, well, I think I've heard enough. Ethel, Mildred, you will both come and see me first thing in the morning. I can assure you this isn't the last you'll have heard of this. Why do these things always involve you, Mildred? <laughs> now come along, off to bed at once, all of you. Again, Mr. Algernon. I promise. 